I'm going to show you how to create a simple GIF in Photoshop that can be used in your emails. So over here in the layers panel, you can see that I have all of the PNGs that I want for this GIF already over here. So I like to put them in the order that I'm going to want them in the GIF. I just like to do it over here in my layers panel, but you can change that later on. So this is exactly how I want them. I know that they're all aligned. Everything looks good. So I'm going to go up here to Windows, Timeline and this will start the timeline of your GIF. So you can see this first frame is there. Whatever I want to show on that second or that time frame of the GIF, I'm gonna wanna have shown on the screen as well. So let's say I didn't have these in order over here in the layers panel, but I wanted to have um, this girl be the first one, so I would just hide these layers and then she would become the face of that time frame. So I wanted to um, toggle between all five of these, so I know I'm gonna need five frames. So to add a frame, you just click this plus sign and you'll get another frame. So you can see the first frame has her. Second frame, I want her. And then I'll just repeat this step for however I want it to be shown and you can see it changed down here. And lastly, so now I have my GIF, and if I click play, you can see I don't have a time limit, so it's really quick. So you just click the first one, hold and shift, and click the last one. That's if you want them all to be the same speed, which usually you do. So I did that, and then I'll click the time down here, and you can adjust it. Um, it just totally depends on what your preference is. I have found that 0.8 seconds is a pretty good time for GIFs to switch or like flash through pictures without it being like too much and without it being too slow to lose your interest. So I go to other and type in 0.8 because that's kind of what I think the sweet spot is. I click play just to double check it and make sure everything looks good. Looks like a gift to me. So I will stop that file, export, save for web. And then it, it depends, sometimes um, your settings might not pop up right away. So up here, there will be a couple options, and sometimes when you do this, it won't take you straight to GIF, so just make sure that you're on the GIF option up here, and then everything else should be fine. As long as this, if you want it to be full width in an email, it needs to be at least 900 pixels. This is just for an opt-in form, so it's gonna be pretty small, so I'm not gonna change anything. So then it just save, and then you'll see my messy desktop if it pops up. Okay, and then I just save it right on my desktop. You can rename it, but you don't have to. And then you save it. It saves right as a GIF, and you are good to go. If I go onto my desktop, I can just click into it, and it'll display the GIF in, um, what's the word, not sections, but in time increments. So you can just kind of, kind of click through and make sure everything looks good. It looks good. And then you just enter this into an email like you would any other kind of image. Want to discover how much money your email marketing can actually bring you? If that's the case, let our team of email marketing experts show you how. With our free email marketing audit, we'll conduct a comprehensive analysis of your email marketing efforts, provide you with an action plan, and show you how to effectively segment and convert your audience. Simply go to flowium.com slash audit and book your audit today. Another tool that our designers use to make gifts for emails is easygift.com. So if you look up here, there's a few options. The two that I use most are GIF Maker and Video to GIF. So Video to GIF is really cool whenever you have an MP4 or just a video file that you want to create into a GIF. So that's what I use that for. But I'm gonna show you the GIF Maker tool today. So what you're gonna do is that you're just gonna go uh, to wherever you're storing your PNGs and you're gonna just drag and drop them. So they're gonna upload um, alphabetically, but you can also switch it to be manually ordered, but I just try to keep them in number order. So then you just drag them over, drop them in. It'll take a second, especially if it is a video file, but it'll just take a second here to upload. And once those are done uploading, this screen will pop up. So I changed this to uh, um, five or whatever, however many frames I have. So it's already set to five. And then um, in the other video in Photoshop, I like to do 0.8 seconds. So to do the equivalent here, they measure the delay time in one one hundredth of a second. So I do 80 and it gives me about the same effect. If you wanna use crossfade, that's how you get it to kind of fade in and out with like the smooth transition. I don't do that that often because it does usually make the GIF a little bit heavier and you wanna keep it um, as small as you can. So I have that set, I don't wanna crossfade and then you just click make GIF 
and it makes a gift for you. So really easy, really simple. Sometimes you have to mess with the settings, but not often. So yeah, this is 1.75 and that is perfectly fine as long as it stays under five, I'm good. So then I just click save and it saves right in my downloads as a GIF. And then I can just upload that in uh, to Klaviyo just like I would any other image or PNG. Hey, if you're watching this and you like what you see, please hit subscribe and hit the bell because it helps us grow our channel.